Hi, in this session we will discuss about the four queens problem by constructing the state space tree. Here the chessboard is given with four cross four uh, number of rows and columns. Then we have to arrange the queens. Uh, there the no two queens attack each other. That is the given condition. Then we can build the state space tree to solve the problem. When you are constructing the state space tree, you can get the solution right, whichever is suitable. Like uh, the no two queens are attacking each other in the row wise or column wise and diagonal wise. Okay. So based upon that, we are having implicit criteria. That is the first one is uh, no two queens can be placed in same row. No two queens can be placed in same column. No two queens can be placed in same diagonal. And the explicit criteria is here. Ith queen has to be placed in ith row, but any one of the column of that row. That means queen one has to be placed in the first row, but any one of the column. Four options are there. Okay, uh, so any one of the column can be selected. Queen two is uh, placed in the second row, but any one of the column can be selected. Queen three should be placed in the third row, and any one of the column can be selected. Queen 4 should be placed in 4th row. Likewise, we can select any one of the column from the 4th row. So, this is called explicit criteria. When you are constructing the solu uh, solution space by using state space tree, we will have uh, the formula to calculate the number of nodes in the state space tree. So, total number of nodes here is 65 when you are constructing the state space tree like this. So, now we will see how do we get this number of nodes by constructing the state space tree and the total number of leaf nodes in this state space tree will be n factorial so 4 is the n here so 24 is the leaf nodes now we will see how do we construct the state space tree here i am not going to use any criteria here you see we are having three criteria okay right one is no two queens can be placed in same row. I am not going to consider this. And no two queens can be placed in same column. I am not going to consider this. Then no two queens can be placed in same diagonal. I am not going to consider this. So, I am not going to consider any criteria here. Only I will consider this one, explicit criteria. So, without considering the implicit criteria, I am going to construct the state space tree blindly. That is called blind. Okay. So, without considering any criteria, area if you construct the state space tree that is called we are blindly constructing the state space tree for the four queens problem then now i am going to start to construct this for example i am starting from the root node then here we are having queen 1 queen 2 queen 3 queen 4 okay so now for queen 1 we are having four options first column second column third column fourth column then i will start with the first column okay so here i am starting with first column so here first column is for the queen one okay so node number two right so here first column is for queen one then queen one is having right uh, first column then what is the uh, remaining options for queen two so queen two can be placed in three options one is uh, second column another one is third column another one is fourth column you assume that i am placing the queen 2 in uh, second column okay i placed in the second column which is leading to third uh, node then what is the option for queen 3 from the third node so for queen 3 i can place in uh, two options one is third column and another one is fourth column okay so like that here for queen 4 from the node uh, 3 right i am leading to here 4 for queen 3 then what is the option for queen 4 from this node so here for queen 4 i can place in the uh, column uh, 4 then which is leading to node number 5 so all options are over here Okay, blindly I am placing, I am not checking any condition. Okay, same row, same column, same diagonal. I didn't check that. Right. Then, here for the 4, is there any option? No other option. Then applying the backtracking here. Right. 
then going back here so there is another one option for the queen 3 that is uh, here we are going to use the fourth column for the queen number 3 if i am placing the fourth column then i am getting the node number 6 here okay then what is the another option for uh, queen number 4 okay for queen number 4 here you see already first column is selected second column is selected and fourth column is selected for queen 3 so for this i can select a uh, third column okay for the queen number 4 which is leading to the node here 7 right so this is also over then you have to go back here any other options are there for the node number 3 there is no option for the node number 3 no option so now you are applying the backtracking here and here so now you are uh, exploring the node number 2 for another option the right placing the uh, queen number 2 in the third column when you are constructing this automatically which is having two options okay so two options here node number is here eight now two options what are the two options one is selected three is selected second column or fourth column if you select the second column for the queen number three then here fourth column is for the queen number four okay queen number is given in the left end right so now we are getting the node numbers here nine which is ten okay then there is no other option one first column filled third column filled uh, second column filled then fourth column also filled in this new path then it, there is no other way so you apply the backtracking then here node number eight is having another option for the queen three fourth one so we can place like this then uh, for the queen number four any other option queen number four we are having option is here uh, the uh, queen number four we are having first three two so two is there so we can place it like this so like this when you are constructing you are having so many options okay so many options so when you are constructing like this you see you will get the tree like this finally right you see uh, uh we are getting the uh, levels three the second level is having third level okay third level is having here node number three node number eight right four six nine eleven so look at that we are having four six nine eleven here three eight so like this when you are constructing you will get total number of nodes 65 that's what we are having the formula here right number of leaf nodes n factorial that is 4 factorial equal to 24 okay so 24 is the uh, leaf nodes you see right here we are having so many number of uh, leaf nodes so 1 2 3 uh, 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so for 24 number of leaf nodes then how many number of uh, total nodes okay total number of nodes are 65 as per this formula right here the formula is 1 plus summation of j equal to 0 to n minus 1 uh, into product of i equal to 0 to j so here if you take this formula you see uh, one is given here initially we are taking j equal to zero if j equal to zero then product of i equal to zero to j so right so here i equal to zero and j equal to zero so we will have the uh, formula here of four minus g i is here zero that is value four that's what we are getting here then j is incremented by 1 then now i equal to 0 to 1 okay so true values are available for i based upon the product so now when you are substituting 4 minus i value 0 into then i value 1 4 minus 1 so here uh, 4 into 3 so this term then j is incremented by 1 so j equal to 2 then i is having three values 0 1 2 based upon this term okay product of i equal to 0 to j so now you are having the three options for i so substitute that three options for the i in this formula n equal to 4 4 minus 0 then into 4 minus 1 this i value into 4 minus 2 right 
this value okay so now you are getting 4 cross 3 cross 2 this term okay then j value is now 3 okay until n minus 1 you can uh, perform that operation j equal to 3 so now i equal to 0 1 2 3 4 options for 4 options here 4 minus 0 n minus i 4 minus 1 4 minus 2 4 minus 3 so here you are getting four terms here 4 3 2 1 so these are multiplying in this position okay so like this when you are substituting the values you are getting the uh, 65 number of nodes for this uh, state space tree when you are constructing the uh, tree blindly then which one is suitable here uh, we have to apply the uh, diagonal wise then only you can identify which one is uh, right option for the uh, placing placement of queens okay otherwise you cannot identify that here we will get two solutions as per this statement for placing the queens 2 4 1 3 right this path okay so uh, x1 is that means queen 1 is in the second column then queen 2 is in the fourth column queen 3 is available in the first column right then queen 4 available in the fourth column this path is giving you the solution right node number 1 18 29 30 and 31 so this path is giving you one solution and another one option is here a uh, 3 1 4 2 so this path also giving you another solution right for the placement of four queens here right so based upon that we can solve the problem here okay right so this is the way to construct the tree blindly right this will take uh, the time 2 power n order of 2 power n so this will take so much time right but when you are using the previous uh, that criteria checking okay when you are using the criteria checking here you see within the 16 nodes we are getting that option here uh, 2 uh, here 4 here queen 3 is in the 1 and queen 4 is in the 3 so this solution we got within the 16 number of nodes when you are using the criteria based checking but in uh, blindly constructing the tree you are getting the 65 number of nodes so this will take long time than criteria based checking thanks for watching